Guys, finally we made it. I know you have been waiting for this video for a long time. So finally we have the Breville Super Q against the Kuvings. So actually, finally I had time. I wanted to do this video before, but I didn't really have any time to do this. So as you can see, this one is the Kuvings. I try to zoom less. This one is the cover. And as you can see here, you can read nothing about the blender. And here is the Breville Super Q. You can read everything, all the details perfectly. You have all the functions. Between the two blenders, uh, I will say some pros and cons. Here you have the functions. The back ca cable in the Kuvings here is longer than the Sage one. This one is one thing that about the Kuvings I like. So when you use the vacuum function, it will do all this noise and it's uh, a little bit too long, it takes about one minute. Here it's separately, so it's uh, kind of better because uh, you can take it off without too many problems. Here if it's uh, maximum, you can put 1,100, 1,300, sorry. So more than this, uh, you cannot fill it here. You have two, two liters is a lot. So let's try to do the smoothie and see the difference. Let's go. Green smoothie. So both blender, they are functioning. Green smoothie. Okay, finally it's done. I use as a base almond milk and banana, strawberries and some honey and spinach in both. So after the vacuum, here there is a button. I don't know if I can show you with only one hand gonna be hard, but I'm gonna press this one too. Okay, so now I'm gonna pour in a glass. Okay, here I have the Kuvings one, that's pure. In this video I will not talk about the Vitamix because many people dislike my comments. I just simply talk about my experience, that's all. So let's see the result of both. I don't know if you can see, but in the Breville there is a little bit more bubble maybe than in the Kuvings, but in the Breva one is darker. I don't know if you can see it perfectly in the video, but in front of me, yes. So I will taste. Let's see. Here is the Kuvings. It's pretty good. Let's try the Breva. The Breville is perfectly smooth, but even the Kuvings one actually. There's really, 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 really small chunks on the Kuvings, but really small difference. So actually guys, for the people that they tell you that there is no difference between the vacuum blender and the normal blender, they only lie to you, okay? Because there is really a big, huge difference. If they say that, it's only because they want to sell to you their machine. Uh, in my opinion, as I said before, the Kuvings for the smoothie is really excellent, but only for the smoothie. I didn't like it because I like to do soups and uh, other grain, pizza, uh, ice cream and everything. So that's why I went back for the Sage and for my experience, since you can get the Breville for a cheaper price, the Kuvings is not worth the 700. So the cheaper you can find it is depend on you what you prefer more. The noise reduction on the Kuvings doesn't work. And as you can see, the noise on the Breville, actually maybe you didn't see it because I made them together, but it made really, really, really less noise because they reduced the noise on it. So if you liked the video, please put like and subscribe and support me. Thank you guys. Goodbye.